What's up, it's the Coaster Craze, and before I start out this new video series, I just wanted to describe what Fake Coaster News is. So, it's basically a satirical video format to talk about the coaster industry, kind of like The Onion, except I'm actually talking about important issues, like why no U.S. parks are buying Vacoma coasters, instead of, you know, what they're talking about, like environmental protection, immigration, and whatnot. So, anyway, let's get the show on the road. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Fake Coaster News. I'm your host, The Coaster Craze, and today I've gotten word from an inside source that Chance Rides of Wichita, Kansas, USA has been asking various major theme park chains about purchasing their Hyper GTX model. And strangely, they were asking through text message, not sure why, but my source was actually able to recover some of the text conversations had for our viewing pleasure. So first they tried Six Flags, understandably, and they said, we know that you guys love to add a new roller coaster at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom every year, and they need a coaster just focused on airtime. Small height meets their 150 foot maximum height requirement, and it's a small footprint. They also mentioned that the Hyper GTX can be added at other smaller Six Flags parks like Six Flags St. Louis or Six Flags America or parks short on space like Six Flags New England and it fits in your coaster price range. We could go even cheaper by just doing a clone of Lightning Run since you guys love clones. The cost is $7 million, same as a free spin but much bigger thrills and we know how much you guys love big thrills. Six Flags declined, but after some further pressing from Chance Rise, they did say that they were open to adding a new ground up coaster to La Ronde in the next couple years. Chance Rides then responded, never mind. They next tried with Cedar Fair. They said, it's a good roller coaster to add to the neglected parks that need a new coaster and it could bring in lots of crowds. Michigan's Adventure was mentioned specifically after that. Cedar Fair responded, who? We'd rather just give coasters to Cedar Point, Kings Island, Canada's Wonderland, and Carowinds and spend at least $20 million per coaster. Chance continued to ask about other parks in the chain and they said they could go bigger for those flagship Cedar Fair parks. Cedar Fair then asked for the price of the Kentucky Kingdom model lightning run and well, clearly Chance Rides was pretty excited about that because they responded in what we recorded as five seconds saying seven million dollars. Sierra Fair responded, we'll give you seven million dollars if you just stop bothering us about getting a Hyper GTX. Ouch. They then went to Universal saying how it could work great for a compact thrill coaster at Universal Studios Hollywood and could be heavily themed if need be. Universal asked if it launches. Well, that was that. Next up was Disney. They said, we could make a highly themed, more family friendly version of it that could still satisfy thrill seekers. Disney left Chance Rides on red. So after those North American chains, Chance Rides thought, let's go international, asking Merlin next. So after Merlin asked who Chance Rides was, ouch, and Chance Rides explained who they were, Chance Rides gave their pitch. Our model has received a claim. It's relatively cheap, could be great at some of your smaller parks, be family friendly for the Legoland parks, or be a larger model for parks like Alton Towers and Gardaland, the bigger ones. Merlin responded, we prefer European manufacturers. Understandable, right? Nope, nope, not at all, because Chance brought up GCI, Great Coasters International, based out of Pennsylvania, USA, and well, they built recently Wicker Man at Alton Towers in England. Merlin said, that's different. How, you may ask? They said, well, give us a call when you've built 29 coasters all over the world, and in parentheses, that aren't toboggan coasters. They then tried with SeaWorld. The pitch? We know you get a bunch of expensive coasters every year for your parks, and with this pandemic and everything, wouldn't it be great to get even better thrills for a fraction of the cost? 
The Hyper GTX will work perfect at a park like SeaWorld San Diego that lacks an airtime filled coaster and is limited on space. SeaWorld responded, when B&M, RMC, Intamin, GCI, Premier, Gravity Group, Mach, Zerier, and Skyline Attractions go out of business, we'll consider giving you a call. Chance was tired of these chains, so finally actually returned to Kentucky Kingdom, the one park that has built a Chance Hyper GTX, Lightning Run, as aforementioned. And they thought, you know, why not? It's their best luck. I mean, besides that park, they're bad in zero. So they messaged Ed Hart saying how Lightning Run reinvigorated Kentucky Kingdom in 2014 after five years of being closed and how it's worked great for the park, brought in lots of crowds and they said they could build a new custom one that's maybe a bit bigger, more inversion focused, have different elements, different layout, whatnot. So Ed Hart then responded, Maybe you guys should just stick to carousels, kitty coasters, and Ferris wheels. Sorry, life's just not fair. Wow, I guess that's letting them down easy? So Chance didn't know who to ask next, and then, oh, huh, I'm getting word that they actually asked Apex Group before all these other chains earlier this year. Well, with a little hindsight, we know that probably wasn't the best place to start. But apparently Apex was actually going to purchase a Chance Hyper GTX for Fantasy Island up in New York before that fell through. <laughs> I'm just joking with you guys. Nobody wants to buy a Chance Hyper GTX. So thank you guys very much for tuning in to the very first episode of Fake Coaster News. I hope you enjoyed this special, exclusive, inside look. Signing off, the Coaster Craze. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and in all seriousness, Coaster Industry, please buy this model. I think you guys should really give the Hyper GTX a chance. I'll leave now.